Ah, hello. It's you again. We've just finished working on the apparatus in the excavation over there and we're about to begin the backfill process. Are you joining us? Now you know the drill. Check the site and complete your site-specific risk assessment. That's your SSRA. Copies of these should be on site at all times. Make sure you're parked in a safe spot. And that there are no obstacles on the ground or overhead. Check the signing, lighting and guarding are compliant. And no members of the public have helpfully rearranged them. Or taken one for the bedroom or back garden. Remember the signing, lighting and guarding may not always be the same. This will depend on the classification of the carriageway, road type, speed limit and visibility through your site. If you need a refresher on SSRA signing, lighting and guarding, you should watch our Highways the Right Ways Part 1. You can also watch Part 2 showing you how to excavate safely. Here on our picture-perfect site, which we rarely find in the real world, we dug through the structural layers of the highway to reach the apparatus. Now, we need to reinstate these layers and ensure that we do so in a manner that puts the strength back in the highway. Bear in mind, this reinstatement has to last for years to come. So, let's put our PPE on. Come on then, let's go. Right, in line with the SROH. Don't you mean the specification for the reinstatement of openings in highways uh, and roads? Uh, don't forget all the UK variants. Yes. Hang on a minute. You're not John. You sound an apprentice, Connor. Oh, right. In line with the SROH, let's start checks on the open excavation. Remove all rubbish and debris from the excavation. Store in a designated place. Also remove any standing water. Check for signs of water contamination and report to your supervisor. We need to remove the water because the full compaction of the material won't be achieved. If there are shallow cables, take photos and report to your supervisor. If there is any undermining or damage to the apparatus, or if there is a void, Take a photo and report to your supervisor. Amend your risk assessment if you find anything different from what you have expected. Remember on loose ground and deeper excavations, shoring should be used. If the walls collapse, there is a real danger of suffocation and or injury. Although the excavation isn't deep, if it looks unsafe, do not enter and inform your supervisor. You should be continually assessing your site and surrounding area for risk to ensure the safety of yourself the public and your team at all times. Take photos before you start and at every stage of the process to confirm that procedure has been carried out correctly. The photos demonstrate the quality of the job that it has been done to specification and we are in compliance with the SROH. At the excavation stage the spoil should be segregated into reusable and waste material Field tests can be carried out to determine if it is fit to be reused. The SROH gives protocol on this. Any hazardous waste, such as tar, should be separated at the excavation stage. This should be collected and disposed of accordingly. Pay particular attention to areas around old gas storage facilities, chemical production plants and fuel stations, as the ground may be contaminated. If contaminated, alert your supervisor. All the material we're not using can be taken away and processed. The quality of material in the backfill layer determines the thickness of the sub-base layer. You see, the road and the footway in the highway are built using layers of granular material. In the road, the thickness of these structural layers depends on how much traffic the road's designed to carry. The base layer is the main load-bearing layer that spreads the weight to the lower layers. Below the structure is the subgrade. The vast majority of utilities apparatus can be found in the subgrade. A specific structural layer may have more than one compacted lift of material. You may not always be able to see these different structural layers due to years of natural compacting. You see, a lot of these road structures have been in place for over a hundred years, and some date back to Roman times. So for this excavation, 
we've safely imported a compliant granular sub-base material, one that we know has been tested to complete the unbound layers of the structure. And we are removing the spoil that's been segregated and excavated from site. It's now time to begin the backfill. It's good to work tidy. It's great to work safe. 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 So, just to recap, we're going to remove this material and import a compliant material. Compliant material. Stones no bigger than 75 millimetres. Correct moisture content. Good amount of fines for sticking to the larger stones. The process for backfilling use compactable material is the same. We place a layer of material at a given depth and compact it a given amount of times using the correct equipment. Start by measuring the depth of your excavation. Then mark your fill levels on the excavation wall ready for your backfill layers. Other methods can be used. You will want to take into consideration the type of carriageway and top layer specification as surfacing material depths vary. If you're unsure of the required depth, contact your supervisor. You will start with fine fill to protect the apparatus. The layer depth can be between 75mm and 250mm. Compact fine fill using a hand tamper. The fine fill material may change depending on your client's requirements. It may be sand, limestone dust, pea gravel or another. And don't forget to replace any marker tape or other similar indicator. Remember, if more than one apparatus is in the excavation, they should also be protected by fine fill when you have reached that level. Every lift of GSB granular sub-base material afterwards needs compacting using mechanical equipment. So to achieve this, we need to add a surcharge. The SROH shows compactable lift thicknesses. So when we say in 100 mm lifts, we mean after compaction has taken place. In our case, we'll add 125 millimetres of GSB material to the excavation and we'll level flat. Then, compact using our vibrating tamper, passing over the layer four times. This will compact the layer to 100 millimetres. Repeat this process until the level of the unbound layers is reached. Take photos and Clegghammer readings at each layer to show that we've carried out quality work and are complying with SROH. Remember, the sub-base layer helps to spread the load to the sub-grade, so needs to achieve a specific value. Also, as in this case, the base layer is a GSB material, and that being the main load-bearing layer, it needs to achieve an even greater value. Always choose the correct compaction equipment as detailed in the SROH. If the excavation is large, you may choose compliant alternative equipment. Always ensure your tools are fit for purpose and adhere to safe working practices when using vibrating machinery. If the compactor starts to bounce around and is difficult to control, or if stones start to break, then stop. If water starts to enter the excavation, if the ground becomes spongy, this could be for a number of reasons. Stop and report to your supervisor. The more layers and lifts we install, the stiffer the structure becomes. The correct compaction at every layer will reduce the risk of failure. And failures cost money. We've shown you one method to backfill the highway. There are others who use alternative materials, like foam concrete as a backfill material, for example, or installing thicker layers at certain points to compensate due to environment and ground conditions. If in any doubt, consult the SROH and always contact your supervisor. Right, we have backfilled up to and including the base layer for this type of carriageway. We've taken our final photograph we have continually assessed the risk in accordance with the site-specific risk assessment and followed the SROH protocol. And the site is safe and ready for reinstatement. We've reduced the chance of failure and the associated costs. Well done, boys. Another job well done. Nice one. I've been Mick. I've been Connor. And I've been Jim. Let's get it right first time. Let's do highways... The right way. way.